Good morning, hi. Um, welcome to this series of videos which is going to be mainly about me, Ben, stopping smoking using Chantix or Champix or whatever it's called, wherever you're from. Um, I'm going to be doing a video every time I take a tablet. Um, so it's a step by step by step gradual uh, build up to give uh, all you guys who are thinking about using Champix out there some, some colour uh, to the story. Um, yeah, so let's begin. So firstly, why am I doing this? Well, I've tried to stop smoking uh, a few times before. Um, I'm 26 years old. I've been smoking since I was 16. I probably smoke around um, 10 to 20 uh, roll-up cigarettes a day, maybe a little something else in the evening. Um, when I started smoking, I always said that I was going to quit. It was never my intention to be a, a lifestyle, a, a lifetime smoker. Um, as I play quite a lot of sports and stuff as well, and quite enjoy being quite active, and um, I'm starting to feel the 10 years of smoking. Um, so it's time for a lifestyle change, basically. And this is it. So my story with this quit so far is that about two months ago, three months ago, I wanted to quit. I made a doctor's appointment. I went down to the doctors and they prescribed me Champix, which are here. Um, I opened a packet, as you can see, but I didn't start taking any of the tablets. Um, I didn't really want to stop smoking suddenly at that point in time. Um, I'm not sure why, but I knew that I always had the tablets to, uh, to get on with it if I wanted to. Um, the problem is that I'm going to have to get back in touch with the doctor and uh, get, I think, the third week, is it? Yeah, get the third week, uh, third and fourth week pack um, at some point in the next two weeks and hopefully they'll give it to me considering the amount of time that's elapsed between my first going in and getting the first, the first course and uh, the second course. But, um, but we'll see. You know, I thought I'd give Chapix a go at that point. I've tried using patches, um, inhalators, electronic cigarettes, um, even tried using a vaporizer to vaporize, to vaporize tobacco. Um, you know, I've, I've tried all sorts of things, but the compulsion to smoke has always, uh, has always been there. As I'm sure a lot of you will know, there's nothing quite like that, uh, <clears throat> that first cigarette in the morning with your coffee. I know that's going to be a difficult one to get over, but we'll give it a go. Oh, uh, so I'm sure you've heard a lot about the side effects, <clears throat> the potential side effects that come with Champix, and uh, well, I've got the uh, literature that came with the tablets here, and uh, we're going to go through them together. So, possible side effects. Giving up smoking with or without treatment can cause various symptoms. These could include changes of mood, like feeling depressed, irritable, frustrated, or anxious. <coughs> Mm, that might maybe not too much change there then. Sleeplessness, difficulty concentrating, decreased heart rate and increased appetite or weight gain. And those side effects would probably be quite welcome. Like all medicines, Champix can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. If you're taking Champix and develop agitation, depress depressed mood, Changes in behaviour or suicidal thoughts, you should stop your treatment and contact your doctor immediately. Right then. Very common side effects which may affect more than 1 in 10 people are listed below. Headache, difficulty sleeping, abnormal dreams, nausea. Common side effects which may affect more than 1 person in 100 are listed below. Increased appetite, changes in the way things taste, dry mouth, Sleepiness, tiredness, dizziness, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, feeling bloated, stomach discomfort, indigestion, and flatulence. Un uncommon side effects, which may affect more than one person in a thousand, are listed below. Chest infection, discomfort or pain, inflammation of the sinuses, fever, feeling cold, feeling weak or unwell, viral infection, shortness of breath, cough, hoarseness, throat pain and irritation. Congested sinuses, runny nose, snoring, loss of appetite, feeling thirsty, increased weight, 
depression, anxiety, hallucinations, feeling of panic, difficulty thinking, mood swings, tremor, difficulty with coordination, difficulty with speech, less sensitive to touch, increased muscular tension, restlessness, feeling of panic, difficulty thinking, mood swings, oh, I think we've already had those, here we go, heart rhythm disturbances, increased blood pressure, increased heart rate, Disturbed vision, eyeball discoloration, eye pain, dilated pupils, short-sightedness, sensitivity to light, watery eyes, ringing in ears, blood in vomit, irritate, irritated stomach and heartburn, abno abdominal pain, <coughs> abnormal stools, red blooded stools, belching, mouth ulcers, pain in the gums, coated tongue. Skin rash, cyst, fungal infection, reddening of the skin, itching, acne, increased sweating. Chest wall and rib pain, stiff joints, muscle spasms, glucose in urine. Increased urine volume and frequency. Increased menstrual flow, vaginal discharge, and changes in sex drive or ability. Rare side effects may affect less than one person in a thousand. Oh shit, a stroke may affect less than one person in a thousand. Good job. Other side effects have occurred in a small number of, number of people attempting to quit smoking with Champix, but their exact frequency is unknown. Heart attack, changes in thinking or behaviour, such as aggression and ab abnormal behaviour, suicidal thoughts, diabetes, high blood sugar and sleepwalking. There have also been reports of serious allergic reactions, including angioedema, swelling of the face, mouth or throat, and skin reactions, in including erythema multiforme a type of rash, and Stevenson's Johnson syndrome, a serious in illness with blistering of the skin, mouth, around the eyes, or genitals. You should stop taking Champix and contact your doctor immediately if you develop swelling on your face, mouth or throat, or if your skin starts to peel or blister. Yeah, I fucking will be, I tell you. If any of the side effects get serious, or if you notice any side effects not listed in this leaflet, please tell your doctor or pharmacist. Well, there you go. Covering a lot of bases there with all of those potential side effects. Um, some of them I don't like the sound of very much, but I really don't like smoking, so we're going to give it a go. So here we go. It's time to take the, uh, take the plunge and uh, the first pill. So my start stop smoking day, I'm going to note that in the packaging here, is, what's the date today? 16th. And so between 8 and 14 days after the first day, so this day, I should look to stop smoking. So we'll call it 12 days because the hook's in deep. Um, so, uh, make it the 28th, I guess, for the potential last cigarette, but maybe it'll happen before then. Anyway, we're going to pop, you see that, you're going to pop the first, first of these pills out there, oh yeah. There it is, just a tiny little thing, you see? Everybody's favorite pharmaceutical company's brand logo, logo there, Pfizer, nice. Thank you, Pfizer, for this little treat. So it's just one pill today. Cheers. Mm. Gone. Let it begin.